more on YouTube, friends and family. Starting a new job in Farmingdale today. I'm gonna go in and meet the crew, line them up, show them what's going on, and set them free. Thanks for coming with me on my day. We'll see you at the bus stop. Sustainable Structures has our um, warehouse space. It's at an old rail yard. Uh, as you can see the old caboose there, there's still a rail line. This is like an old depot building here and this is the building where we store a lot of uh, materials and equipment and all that jazz. I'm just here to pick up a tool uh, for this new job. <music> here is to install some gutters and to build an interior bulkhead door right there and we're going to install and repair some windows I'm just gonna meet the crew here and then get them squared away and <laughs> but she can't operate it and I can go as high as I can get it. So I just popped off the jam just to make sure there was room to work with. The window's an okay window. Let's see if we can just get it to work, you know? Yeah. All right, these guys are on board. They've got the job well under and in hand and I'm out of here. Batteries for my house are lead acid batteries, which means that occasionally the water inside the batteries needs to be filled up in order for the batteries to work properly. It needs to be distilled water, however, which has been purified and it doesn't have any mineral content in it. So uh, my batteries are kind of getting a little weak, so I, I think I need to add some electrolyte.
brain was going numb from staring at that computer too long. I need to get outside. What are you doing in there? I'm so excited. One of you, and you know who you are, one of my YouTube subscribers, just contacted me and said they'd like to send me something. This is like my first mail time um, item. I'm, I'm really thrilled, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't ever expect to be at the level of my cousin Casey with all the heaps of stuff that people send him, but if you are compelled and think, oh, you know, I'd like to send Curry a little note or something or anything, you can always um, message me in uh, YouTube. You can message me privately and I can send you um, my address and you could send me something in the mail. And if you think it's appropriate for me to open it on my vlog, then I can have my own little mini mail time. And wouldn't that be fun? I think it would be. Anyway, thank you in advance for whatever it is that's coming my way in the mail. I'm just so excited. <laughs> you know, whenever I get a new subscriber, I, I, I check out your page on YouTube to see if you've had any uploaded videos because it gives me a chance to see who you are beyond just your name or your comment. It's just really fun to be able to see who the people are that are interested in my life and following my vlog. And I'm learning a lot about people and where they come from and what they do and where their you know travels take them. It's really fun to sort of round out this relationship, uh, as virtual as it is, that I have with my subscribers. It really makes it a little bit more real, you know? Um, it's this strange thing about this whole vlogging and YouTube world is that, you know, it tends to be sort of a, a virtual thing. The more I get into it, really makes me feel like, you know what? This is a real relationship. While I might not be able to reach out and shake your hand or give you a hug or, you know, have a meaningful conversation face to face, I'm really starting to get to know a number of you beyond just the superficial. So for me, that is wicked cool. Thanks for participating. Uh, it makes vlogging a lot of fun. I never, I never, I never, I never, I, I know the book, I, I know the book, I'm inside you, I'm inside you, from the pain, pain, I just wanna, wanna, I, I know the book, I, I know the book, I'm inside you, I'm inside you, from the pain, pain, I just wanna, wanna. Periodically, I need to check the electrolyte level inside my lead acid batteries, which store the power for um, all of my house electricity. This is where all of the solar power for my roof is stored. I haven't checked it, checked the level in months and months. I'm afraid it might be quite low. So, it's a bit, you know, this morning the generator came on after about two or three days of, of no sun. So it just prompted me to remember, geez, I need to fill my battery. So let's check these. The level wants to be right up to the shoulder there of that cap. since I've done this. Jesus. All right, now I'm remembering how to do this. Oh, 
Okay, that's what I did not want to see. You can see the lead plates in there. There's no uh, water or acid covering them. That's bad for the batteries. Man, I should have checked these as soon as I got back from Colorado. down to the river. I need to get out and move around. Blood flow a little bit here. In our household, we have a division of labor. Andrea cooks dinner, I clean up after dinner. I cook dinner, Andrea cleans up after dinner. It's a 50-50 split. You know, the days of the woman of the house being the cook, the cleaner, and the house cleaner are over, or at least they should be over, folks. This is the 21st century and any young man that are out there watching, you know, prepare yourself for a life in which you have to take care of your own crap, okay? Get with the program if you haven't already. <laughs> It'll make for marital bliss, believe me. I never, I never, I never, I never, I, I never.